What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're actually going to be talking about Malignant in this video here today. James Wan's Malignant that came out last year in September I believe and it was one of the more favorable horror movies for me of the year. I'm not saying it was amazing or anything like that as much as it was something I had a lot of fun with. It was very much so one of James Wan's I would say more ambitious takes in the genre. Uh, I appreciate what he was trying to accomplish there. There are some things about it in terms of the concept I just found to be a lot more more compelling than the execution overall uh but it was still fun i think i gave the movie a solid six out of ten definitely one of my favorites from last year one of the many horror movies i plan to rewatch over the course of my life but when it comes to a potential sequel they've been talking about this off and on they haven't gone into any real specifics about it as much as uh we've had annabelle wallace come out and saying that they would uh that sh i think she would love to do it and i think james Wan himself or annabelle wallace one of them are going to say that there's plenty of ideas swirling around we were very flattered by the reception that they got and think and they were taken aback by the reception so there's a lot of conversations happening now my thing is okay the reception might have been overly positive i think as, as of this it, it is fresh on rotten tomatoes but you know the movie itself was unfortunately one of those things got that got caught up in the straight to hbo max release going on last year and it didn't make it didn't perform that well at the box office so maybe with its home media release there is something that will end up causing it to get another movie so James Wan himself has already gone on record recently talking with comicbook.com to say that if the fans want it, then of course it'll happen. That's just how it works anyway with any of these movies that they put out. When you have a box office reception that exceeds what it costs to make, plus all the marketing that went into it, then they're going to turn back around and see, and see that, oh, we have, we have money to make here, so they're going to put out another entry. They didn't get that with Malignant. I'm not saying that there's not anything you could do with Malignant, but James Wan himself also stated that he has this idea of having a larger world in mind when he's creating his movies. He said the same thing about Malignant in this recent interview with Comic Book. I'm just trying to consider what avenues would you would you explore? You know, Gabriel, he is dormant once again. So you're going to have a film where he becomes he becomes awakened i think at some point you know you you're treading on okay this is just overly ridiculous to have gabriel keep coming back or what i would prefer is you go back into her childhood and explore gabriel when we have her as a young young girl seeing how their relationship was seeing of course all the things that went on with them you could actually do a movie with gabriel's time at that lab and seeing some experiments that were done on gabriel or you could do something completely different maybe there's another person in this universe that has a parasitic twin you know you could branch out and tell different stories like you did with the insidious universe telling a lot of stories with elise or at least a couple of stories with elise before transitioning back to the lambert family like we were expecting to have with insidious five so maybe you could do that with a malignant too you could again explore somebody who has a parasitic twin another person that exists in the universe i personally myself don't think we need a malignant two if as much as it is so if you're gonna do one i would prefer it's a prequel narrative uh there's a lot of cool things that happen in the movie but i just think that all these unanswered questions that exist in the film they're not something that, that i think warrant them to go out and do a sequel even if the movie made enough money at the box office i personally do not think that the sequel will be able to outdo the original now again james wan he could very very much so make me eat my words and I'm not saying that a Malignant 2 wouldn't be a good movie. It's just that with the movie that we got, I don't see how that movie itself did anything to really set up any potential avenues to explore. So, like, think of the original Scream movie. Even though the original Scream movie could have easily been a simple one and done, there's narratives and d different details that are unveiled throughout the movie that could lend to what we know the series grew into regarding Sidney Prescott's mother. With Malignant and Gabriel, Gabriel's life and his, I guess, narrative growth, I feel like is very limited. 
and what you could do there so that's why i'm like you would have to i, I feel like branch out if you're not going to do a prequel focusing on the same character you'd have to branch out into creating the universe where people just have parasitic twins on top of the back of, or on the back of their head that are evil <laughs> they take over all their motor functions and they go on doing these crazy killing sprees so and just to go off on something else about that movie the cop sequence the cop sequence in the uh, police station that was one of the most insane things i've ever seen in a horror movie recently definitely something that was very exhilarating of course to see as well uh and again i i like how ambitious that movie was even though there are some things about it that aren't necessarily gonna help gonna make me say oh that's an instant classic i do see malignant growing into being a cult classic it has that cult following i don't have a problem being one of them that will defend the movie but i'm also not going to act like the movie was you know the best thing out there that we got last year from the horror genre it was just one of the more one of the more favorable ones for me in my opinion from what we were getting so when it relates to a sequel i'm not necessarily gonna say that i would want to see one i would have to see what direction they take because i feel that with what you gave us in the original gabriel has a shelf life that really restricts him to just one movie and one movie only but that doesn't mean of course that you can't write something together that's compelling and pushes the envelope and exceeds the original just like how top gun maverick exceeded the original movie go out and see top gun maverick this weekend i just don't think malignant did anything to warrant sequel i feel like with a lot of these other horror movies even though they could have easily been condensed into one and dones like again i used scream earlier in the video there's still things that you find out that lend room for sequels i don't feel like there's much lending room for a sequel in the original malignant as much as there is a lot of unanswered questions you could tap into by doing a movie i guess that you could call malignant to but it's not actually a follow-up to that one as much as it is a predecessor in and of itself being a prequel touching on gabriel as a child what was going on with them in their youth and you know stuff like that i don't think that there is any room to tell with gabriel so that's where you'd have to branch out into exploring other narratives but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below would you like to see a malignant 2 were you a fan of the original film or did you not like it tell me that also down in the comment section or why you didn't like it um and with all that in mind guys if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post again your name is video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and again if you were someone who did not like malignant please let me know why down in the comment section below or if you think a sequel court let me know that down in the comment section too and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video